Hey everybody, Cowboy Brett coming to you from the Alfalfa Bale Studio. Today is the third day of November 2020, the day that we get to elect our officials. And you may not see this video today, but when you do, I hope that you will take time to go get registered wherever it is you need to register and you know where you're supposed to go vote and you go vote. I don't care if it's a presidential election, if it's a local election, if you're voting on school board issues, if you're voting on anything, it is your right, your responsibility, your civic duty to get out there and vote. It is a big dadgum deal. So today when we walked up there, it was 6.15. We're about 14th, 15th in line. Wife and I get our I voted stickers. We're out of there by 7.15. It was nice. So we're about 14th, 15th in line, something like that. But when I walk up to the polling place, um, it's kind of frigid here in Oklahoma that, that, that mo this morning. And uh, as I walk up there, there's a gentleman standing there at the end of the line. Nice thing about it was he's 89 years old, not wearing a mask. And uh, I walk up and I keep my, my six, seven feet distance from him. And he just walks right over right next to me. And we go to talking. Well, the thing about this gentleman was he was wearing a Vietnam, I'm sorry, not Vietnam, a Korean veteran cap. And so I immediately took my hat off, shook his hand, introduced myself, told him, thank you very much for your service. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are in the armed forces, if you are a service member, I cannot tell you how humbled, how humbled and how appreciative I am of what you do for us. If you're a spouse of a service member, hats off to you, both of you. I really appreciate, um, okay, let me apologize. I apologize for the glare. Just mean respect for moving the hat, but wow, that was bad. Anyway, the, uh, don't do that again. Anyway, my point is that I sincerely appreciate what you guys do. I'm very humbled by the service that you guys provide and the freedoms that we have, and I will not forget that. It disappoints me and saddens me to see the state that we're in right now and disrespect that you guys have. But I want you to know there's a there's a society of us out there that really appreciate what you guys do. So anyway, um, he served in Vietnam and in Korea. I keep saying Vietnam, but he was in Korea, and he was a civic uh, 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 engineer, combat engineer, and built the airports and the um, bridges to be able to allow the infantry into Korea. And so uh, I got tickled at him because like a lot of old guys who've been through life like he has, he had a good sense of humor and I thanked him for his service. And he says, well, I got to be honest with you, wasn't really my idea, but I was happy to go serve. So uh, he he was uh, appreciative of having had the opportunity, I guess. Uh, but I was sure, sure proud he went. The... Um, I went to ask him how old he was, if his wife was with him, and he said, no, she actually passed about six months ago. And I asked how long they'd been married, and they'd been married 65 years, 65 years. And man, I was so impressed. And uh, unfortunately, in today's society, you don't see a lot of that these days. And so one of the first videos that I ever posted was talking about goals and how my wife and I wanted to make it to 50. Well, guess what? We've got to be the same age that he is at 89, or I do anyway. My wife rem reminds me that she only has to be 88 um, to be able to hit that 50-year mark. And so I asked him, I said, what is it that you did to be able to keep the marriage alive and maintain your relationship and everything through the good times and the bad? And he kind of got a little teary-eyed and kind of paused for a minute, and I could tell he's getting a little choked up. And so I quickly switched gears from the tough times to what was it you did to kind of keep things exciting and, and, and that kind of stuff. And he says, well, I worked at Tinker Air Force Base here in Oklahoma City for 28, 29 years, and he'd been retired for 30. He said, man, when I retired, it didn't matter what car or truck we had at the time. We just jump in and decide where we wanted to go, and we went. And uh, he said he'd been to every state in the United States, been up to Pennsylvania and toured stuff up there, went up to Washington, snuck over into Canada, went into Vancouver, um, got to see everything up there, see the national parks up in Idaho and Wyoming and Montana and, and came back from all that. And he said, we just went. And it was gratifying to me to hear someone who'd been married 65 years talking about taking his wife on an adventure. And uh, we talked about that here a while back, and I hope you guys are, are considering and are starting to do that with your wives and taking them on an adventure. But it was fun to hear him talk about it and, uh, and to hear his, his message, so to speak. We get inside the polling place, and uh, like I say, when you're when you're in a polling place like that or the doctor's office, it's like you're at the library, right? Nobody talks. It's all quiet, hush, hush. Nobody says anything. So here's this me and this old guy that um, he's got hearing aids in both ears from hearing damage that he had during the war. And uh, so I'm having to talk loud for him to be able to hear me. So naturally, everybody else is hearing our whole conversation, too. And so we get inside and come to find out he was a program manager um, at the Air Logistics Center here in Oklahoma City at Tinker. And I uh, was talking about all the computers they put in, the programming stuff that they did, and how he managed people and everything like that. And so we get inside, and he says, what do you do for a living? And I said, well, 
ironically, I'm a software developer. I bang on a keyboard for a living from eight to five. And then in the evenings and the weekends, I play cowboy. And he kind of looks at me with his blank look on his face and he goes, okay. And then turns and walks on into the polling place and the whole crowd behind me just hoorahed. I was like, yeah, he was really impressed. <laughs> so, oh, he was a card. But uh, my message today is I'm glad to hear that, you know, my, my idea of, of taking your wife on adventures reinforced by someone who's been around a lot longer than I have and uh, had a much more uh, lengthy marriage than I've had so far and has something that I want to be able to replicate. And uh, at the same time, um, my appreciation for you veterans out there. Really appreciate it. Today is, uh, like I say, the 3rd of November. It's, um, it's the month that we, that we celebrate the, the military and everything. So thank you all very, very much for your service. I won't remove my hat again because I don't want to glare the camera out. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. If you haven't voted, get out there and vote today. If, uh, if you miss this video and, and it's not Election Day anymore, make sure you're voted and you've got your registration in before the next election. All right? In the meantime, if you like this video, be sure and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, stick around here on the channel, share it with your friends and family. And uh, in the meantime, this is Cowboy Brett coming to you from the Alfalfa Bale Studio. Y'all have a great day.